Aminals in America scare me. What the f is an aminal? <laughs> Animals in the U.S. scare me. If you've seen any of our recent videos, you probably know why. So naturally, I thought it'd be a great idea to see animals that could come over here to Europe and absolutely obliterate, destroy, crucify our local ecosystem. If you're new here, my name is Adam. Sorry, that made me laugh. We're, we're on the road to like 150,000 subscribers, guys, here on the channel. And that would be such a milestone for me. So if you're a part of the group that hasn't subbed yet, 85% of people watch this channel aren't. That would be great if you could just hit that button and maybe like the video. I'm asking you to subscribe and like right after me giving one of the worst intros I've ever heard. So I don't understand if you don't. Either way, <laughs> let's do this. When an animal is introduced into an ecosystem where uh -huh. it doesn't belong, that ecosystem usually suffers massive negative impacts. Look at all the dead fishies. What the f*** happened? Was it this bloody turkey? Introduced species can hunt and compete the with native species. And they can also alter habitats and cause damage to infrastructure and farming. This is of course not the animal's fault as they are simply trying to survive. Yep. And in the vast majority of cases, humans are behind their introduction. All continents around the world are affected by invasive species. But in today's video, I will be focusing on just two continents. Where is this, by the way? This is, you see this area, guys? This is completely off topic, got nothing to do with the video. This is where I would love to live, man. Just have like a little, see that we love beach at the top? Just have a little hut in there with good internet so I can make videos for you guys and stream and stuff over on, over on Twitch, link below. That'll be great, never gonna happen. North America and Europe. These two continents are home to a vast the array of wildlife, that? and in some cases, they even share some wildlife. Mm -hmm. Certain species can be found in both North America and Europe, with some great examples being the moose, the northern pike, the red fox, and the brown bear. Bro, I just can't get over the size of this snout. That is insane, man. Look at the size of this. Their bot boy could smell a fart from someone on top of Mount Everest. As well as this, both continents seem to have animals that are very similar to each other. Holy. Such as the American and European bison, the North American and Eurasian beaver, and the North American and Eurasian otters. Even mm -hmm. though the North American and European ecosystems can be quite similar, they are still both home to unique species that- It makes you kind of wonder how we have the same type of animals you guys have. Since there is such a massive body of water separating, how the hell have the species transcended continents? How has that happened? ...cause problems if they were introduced outside of Vacation. their native range. There are already plenty of North American creatures that are invasive in Europe, such as the North American beaver, the American mink, the signal crayfish, and the raccoon. Of course, this also works All the right. other way around, as there are plenty of European creatures that are invasive in North America. Some great examples are the common starling, the European green crab, the zebra mussel, and the brown trout. Wait, how the hell could a mussel be invasive? Doesn't invasive mean that they are going and ripping the ecosystem apart? Like, kill how the hell does a mussel kill animals, bro? Zebra mussel and the brown trout. In this video, I won't be focusing on creatures that are already invasive. Okay. But instead, I will be focusing on certain North Oof. American creatures that Oof. could cause major problems in Europe. Oh, look at the size of that. North American animals would be able to take advantage of weaknesses in the European ecosystem. And if they were introduced, they would cause major Hello. problems. The first North American creature we will be taking a look at is the coyote. Coyotes are among the most iconic North American mammals, but today in some areas are like a they're dog seen family? as a pest. Just like many other intelligent canines, coyotes oh. do very well in urban areas. They can live right under our noses in suburbs and cities, and every major city in the US has a coyote the hell's population. That land? They are often seen as a negative animal to have around as they will eat garbage and eat pets, but in more rural- Would they bite you? Like, would they just run up to someone and yeah, Or would they be like a, they'd only attack if you approach them type, type, type of guy? Rural areas, they are a positive creature to have around. They will hunt certain creatures that are seen as pests, such as rodents and insects. And they will also hunt more dangerous creatures, such as venomous snakes, so also more shy than coyotes in cities. So they tend to cause less problems. The reason I think coyotes would do so well in Europe is simply because they're so intelligent and adaptable. Wait, are they not in they Europe? They can easily live in and around certain European cities. Oh, nah. And in these areas, they would have little competition. One animal that could stand in their way is the red fox. But uh -huh. this fox is also oh, no, found I'm mixed in up with them, boys. North America. When yep. these two species meet in the wild, it can get quite ugly. And the coyotes usually displace or kill the foxes. 
Currently, quite a few red foxes inhabit large European cities. And if coyotes were introduced into Aww, Europe, they would I displace them. Cute, though. In their native no? North America, coyotes Morning. have quite a few predators to keep their numbers under control. And luckily, quite a few My dumb ass would bring him into the house, bro, and give him a couple of slices of ham. And then he'd probably eat, eat me. So, can also I'd be, be the ham. Golden eagles, wolves, and bears would hunt coyotes in Europe. But of course, most of these predators rarely enter cities. This is why I believe they could cause such big problems in European cities. And the raccoon has already proved mm. that North American animals can survive in European cities. The coyote might come into trouble in Southeastern Europe, because this is where you can find the golden jackal. What the this hell is that? is very similar in size and appearance to the coyote, and it would get into a very fierce battle competing with it. So if the coyote was introduced into Europe, I think it would cause major You're not problems. going to eat you, bro! But of course, it would be extremely unlikely for anyone to try and release this animal outside of its native range. The next uh -huh. North American animal we will be taking a look Alligator. at is the largemouth bass. Oh. The largemouth <laughs> bass is a carnivorous freshwater game fish. Bro, he's got lips like me. He's got the same mouth as me. What the hell? And it's extremely popular with fishermen. It's extremely aggressive and will put up a good fight. And this is one of the main reasons why it's been introduced into many countries around the world. The largemouth bass is famously oh, one does of the have worst invasive mouth. fish in the world. And it's even responsible for some extinctions. They've been blamed Eep. for the extinction of the Atitlan grebe in Guatemala. Bastards, bro. And they've been blamed for the extinction of some small cyprinids in Japan. When you compare the ecosystems of North America and Europe, you can find the most difference in the freshwater ecosystems. North America and Europe share a few freshwater species, but North America has far more predatory fish. Uh -huh. There are many different species of trout and sunfish, and there are even more prehistoric species such as the gars and bowfin. Europe has its own predatory fish such as perch, pike, and xander, and even giants such as large... What is it? Yo, someone take up man and get them cut. What the hell is that? What's happened? What the hell? All I'm seeing here is toenails. His toenails are too big. Get that man a pet, a fucking, what are they called? Pedicure. Holy. Catfish and sturgeon. Despite this, there are far less predatory fish in European waters as there are in North American waters. And this is why the largemouth bass would be such a success in European waters. Uh -huh. Strangely, this fish's inclusion on this list is not hypothetical, as it has already been introduced into Europe. Fish are Today, awesome, bro, aren't no they? If they're sick. But it can be found over large areas of Portugal and Spain, which are the two countries that are home to the most invasive fish in Europe. As they face little competition, they are spreading Bro, at an alarm. I don't know why, but I feel like he looks like the lead singer from Aerosmith. Just like a little bit, no? <laughs> spreading at an alarming rate. And many European countries have now been put on alert. So unfortunately, this fish's introduction into Europe is not hypothetical. Yep. And hopefully it doesn't spread much further. The final North American animal we will be taking a look at is unsurprisingly the I American it. alligator. I need it, bro! This giant crocodilian is native to the southeastern United States, and it's one of just two species in its genus. That's it, look the at other that thing, is the man. Much smaller Chinese alligator, and this species is also a lot rarer. The American alligator is one of the largest native reptiles in North America, but strangely, it also has to battle invasive species. Florida is one of the worst affected areas when it comes to invasive species, and this means that the American alligator has a lot of predators to compete with. In recent years, it's had to battle <sighs> Burmese pythons and caiman, but luckily it usually comes out on top. Wait a minute. Yo, did my guy bite himself? What the fuck happened here? What's happened here, bro? What have you done? You flippin' idiot! As the American alligator is the apex predator of its ecosystem, it would certainly cause problems elsewhere. There's no doubt that it would prey on native European species, but the real question Man's is if not it would be able to survive just in eating it raw, man. Even though alligators can survive cold snaps, they need warm weather throughout most of the year. This is why they're limited to mostly the southern states, and this means that they wouldn't be able to survive in most of Europe. Famously, Europe is one of the few continents without any native crocodilians. Thank God. But there are a few places where they could survive. There are a few warmer wetlands in Spain and Italy, and the American alligator would be quite happy in these areas. They would have plenty of fish to feed on, such as the aforementioned Wales catfish, and they would also feed on many of the native semi-aquatic- Oh, they call catfish because they got big whiskers? Oh, okay. 
mammals. My bad. Of course their young would be taken out by some predators. Oh no. But once they reach a certain size, nothing would be able to take them down. They could become the masters of southern European wetlands, but luckily Jesus. they wouldn't be able to spread very far north. The only feasible way for an American Ugh. alligator to make its way to Europe is Look through at the pet trade. And thankfully they are illegal to keep in most European countries. This hopefully means that they will never make their way to Europe. Because if they did, they would certainly take over some They would rip that shit up, bro. <laughs> if you think well, I was really interesting to see. Um, I'm so glad that alligators, crocodiles aren't near me because I would be the one. I'd be the one. You know when they always talk about, oh, there's only been one case of, uh, you know, crocodile, alligator attack on someone. It would be me. My head would be off. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video and just have yourself a great weekend. It's Sunday. The weekend's over. Uh, have a great week. Peace.